Embrace the exclamation. Mastering the exclamation mark in English. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our English grammar series. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of exclamatory sentences, specifically focusing on the correct usage of exclamation marks. By the end of this video, you'll be using this powerful punctuation with confidence and style. First things first, let's understand what an exclamation mark is. This punctuation mark is used at the end of a sentence to express a strong emotion or to emphasize a point. It could represent excitement, surprise, anger, or any intense feeling. Remember, the use of the exclamation mark transforms a simple sentence into an exclamatory sentence. Example, he won the lottery, expresses excitement. Watch out for the car, expresses urgency. Now that we understand what an exclamation mark is, let's look at when to use it. The exclamation mark is mainly used in informal writing and conversation. It's perfect for personal letters, dialogues, and social media posts, but use it sparingly in formal writing or academic work. Example. Wow! This ice cream is delicious. In formal context. Congratulations! You've done a great job. In formal context. Understanding the power of the exclamation mark is key. It can amplify the emotion in your sentence, making your reader feel that emotion more deeply. But be careful, overuse can dilute its impact. Example, that's amazing, stronger emotion, stop it, stronger command. The exclamation mark can sometimes pair with other punctuation marks like question marks to express mixed emotions. This is common in informal writing, particularly in digital communication. However, try to avoid this in formal writing. Example, what on earth are you doing here? Surprise and disbelief. And that wraps up our journey with exclamatory sentences and the mighty exclamation mark. We hope this has been helpful and encourage you to practice using this punctuation mark in your daily English communication. Remember, it's all about balance. Use it to show emotion, but don't overuse it. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing.